Hello students, I am Dr. Tanumay Vishrash. I welcome you all in my channel Chemistry, the Mystery of Molecules. Today's topic of discussion is in front of you. So this is an MCQ. I request you student, please pause the video, look at the problem carefully, try by yourself and whatever answer you get, please write in the comment box with a brief explanation. And don't worry, after some time you will get the answer. And by the way, remember one statement, self-evaluation is essential for improvement. Don't get ashamed, please try. I believe you have tried, so it's my turn to give you the answer. First, I shall say, student, please look at the problem carefully. What is asked? It is very important to understand what is asked here. So this is actually a ketone, more specifically, if I say unsymmetrical ketone, means this is actually a secondary carbon and this is a tertiary carbon. Okay, so and it reacted with 0.9 equivalent of LDA. This LDA is a bulky base and hygroscopic material because in terms of moisture it gets degraded. So such kind of chemical for example not only LDA like butyl lithium, Greek nut reagent, alkyl magnesium bromide they are taken slight excess means for example it is one equivalent so that need to take 1.1 equivalent I guess you many people you have seen that such kind of base has taken slight excess because they are moisture sensitive during the reaction some amount of that base could be quenched so in order to get the maximum conversion slight excess of such kind of base are taken but question in this case LDA belongs to similar category so why it is taken slight less point number one second generally the LDA reactions are done minus 78 degree centigrade means very low temperature and in this case it is done 25 degree centigrade question why means in case of LDA chemistry this is relatively higher temperature so these two points you need to keep in mind and in this problem I specially request student please count the stoichiometry during the reaction because it's important now let's discuss the mechanism this LDA act as a bulky base not nucleophile because of this bulky is two isopropyl groups attached to this nitrogen and it abstract proton more specifically alpha hydrogen of carbonyl here so we know that LDA is a bulky base so it will abstract the proton from less bulky position and in this case this is the secondary carbon and this is the tertiary so consequently the secondary carbon is less bulkier so these HA proton will be abstracted by LDA and it will produce a carbon ion let me write this here so this is actually student carbon ion okay and this carbon ion is resonance stabilized you can see here mean it will give it will open so in this way this is called enolate now since 0.9 equivalent of LDA has taken and it is reacted with one equivalent of this carbonyl so we can consider that 0.9 equivalent of this enolate is produced and this is called KCP kinetically controlled product why because this secondary hydrogens are slightly more acidic and less bulkier compared to the tertiary one so this is kinetically controlled product so in the reaction medium there are two types of thing one is 0.1 equivalent unreacted carbonyl and 0.9 equivalent of enolate now this enolate is nothing but a carbon ion from this you can say because the alpha proton of the CH bond is abstracted so this is acidic and we know carbon ion can act as two way first of all it could be nucleophilic and second it could it can act as a base so it is basic in this case it will act as a base means this carbon ion can act as a base to abstract another proton so it will push here and it will abstract this proton and here it will come so in this way what it will produce let me write it here so it will produce this is oxygen this is minus this now you will say that sir from a secondary carbon ion we are producing a tertiary carbon ion so an equilibrium is expected to go from in remain in the left side or slight amount of such kind of molecule will be there it's true obviously you are right but it has some another stability for example let's draw the canonical form so it will it will push here so it will open up so ultimately what it will produce the canonical form the canonical form is this one 
just after abstraction one equi now question I, I shall come up with the equivalent so you have understand about this preparation now I have written here one equivalent means slowly slowly all the this KCP will be converted into this and this is also called as student TCP or thermodynamically controlled product means thermodynamically Kali control product means you can consider this is actually a stable product. So question why this is more stable? Because carbon ion is here tertiary you can say that sir this is relatively less stable in this case this KCP is more stable no 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 it's not like that there is some another phenomena. If you look at this part this is actually an alkene okay this is enolate means one alkene and enol. So I have by the way, already discussed about this enolate chemistry in details where you can understand the alkene nature of this please visit for better understanding. Now so this has the alkene type property and if you look at the substitution there is one methyl substituent there is oxygen. So it is more substituted. So from that point of view we can say that this is relatively more stabilized. So this is more substituted means more stabilized. So that's why after some time these all the enolates will be converted into this. And as I told at the beginning that 25 degree centigrade reaction temperature is pretty high temperature for LDA reaction. Okay. So that's why this reaction will slowly slowly equilibrate to the thermodynamic control product. KCP sorry TCP and this in this case just if you look at the negative charge is on this carbon so let me draw it here is too much dirty so in this case the carbon ion structure is here this one so what will happen this will react with methyl iodide via a SN2 types of reaction it will open and in this way it will produce this product okay and this is completely student one equivalent because because of time all the KCP is converted into this TCP in one equivalent. So I guess you have understand that why this is produced these dye substitution although it is not expected when you use LDA. So this is the uniqueness of this problem. Now so Second question, what are the key steps and name reactions associated with this process? First step is selective proton abstraction of by a bulky base LDA and relatively higher temperature 25 degree centigrade and the second step is the reversible reaction or equilibration in proton abstraction and ultimately it produces TCP and third step is nucleophilic substitution or SN2 reaction by the alpha carbon ion means alpha carbon ion of carbonyl which react with methyl iodide and by the way methyl iodide is a very good substrate for SN2 reaction first one it's less bulky second iodide is a very good living group. So answer of today's discussion is this option C okay and this is only because 0.9 equivalent LDA 25 degree centigrade by the way if you do the reaction under slight excess for example 1.1 equivalent of LDA and relatively lower temperature like minus 78 degree centigrade like that then what is expected then the product is expected this one. So this is a very interesting problem and I know this is little tricky. So I guess you have understood if this question appears in your exam first of all I believe you should remember the story about TCP KCP and this 0.9 equivalent then you can do the problem very easily. Now competition is between this option B and C if you look at option A it is not possible methyl group removal not possible option D just methyl attack on carbonyl I have given a electrophilic reagent methyl delta plus how it could be delta minus carbon ion so not possible. So this is called process of elimination in this way please remove these two options now question when option became less it is easier to choose and based on this knowledge you can select that point nine equivalent given higher temperature so it will result in this option C. So in conclusion what you have learned today that LD is a bulky base it selectively extracts proton from less bulky carbon 
Second, LDA generate lead substituted enolate, which is considered as KCP or kinetically controlled product. And carbon ion produced from LDA can also react as a base to generate more substituted enolate or TCP. And finally, more substituted alkene is more stable because of ZZF rule or ZZF rule we have already discussed previously. So, this is the end of the discussion. I believe this video may be useful for you. If it is, please help this channel to grow and if possible, please visit my another channel, Climate and Chemistry, where I upload global warming and climate change related videos. So, thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye-bye.